Hello, welcome to Daily Bible Study in 21st Century Moses Channel. My name is Sammy Jew. The Wall Street Journal headline says, Cities tighten curfews as protests spread across the United States. And then it reads, Unrest at night follows peaceful demonstrations to protest Floyd killing. It's like day and night difference. One says peace and the other says violence and it is hard to trust anyone. We see disunity every day. How can we be truly united and stay peaceful? Let's see how the Bible says what we should do for the true unity and peace. Let's read Ephesians 4.25. Therefore, laying aside falsehood, speak truth each one of you with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Now let's look at the word truth. In Greek is aletheia, very important word. It means true to fact. So that when you speak the truth, that means you are speaking true to the fact. You are being true to the fact. Now let's look at this verse, how this is connected with other verses. So, first, verse 22 in chapter 4, in reference to your former manner of life, you lay aside old self. We see the same language in today's verse. It says, laying aside falsehood. So the picture is when you lay aside your old self, you are really laying aside, you're putting off your falsehood. The next verse, verse 20, uh, verse 15. But speaking the truth in love, now we see that same language here. Speak the truth each one of you with his neighbor. So when you lay aside falsehood, what happens is you speak the truth. That's what happens when you put on the new self. Right? And finally, in verse 3, being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit. Now we see the similar language here. For it says, for we are members of one another. Wow. So you see that verse 3, 15, 22, and all chapter 4, they're all in this one verse that we read today. Verse 25, therefore laying aside falsehood, speak truth each one of you with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. So this verse is really showing that when you put off your old self, now you wear new self, right? What happens is the unity. This is how the true unity happens. But to do that, you need to be born again. You need to put off your old self and put on the new self. So who is God? God is true and He unites us in Him. Who is the world? Worldly minds divides us with all the deceits. But who is the church? Church is united in Christ regardless differences. Jesus Christ is true, but when you become Christian, followers of Jesus Christ, you are putting off your falsehood, you are put on, putting on the old, uh, new self, which speaks speaking the truth, so that there is the true unity. All right, application is first to stop lying to one another. We need, this is how we, we should uh, lay aside our falsehood. And second, speak the truth to each other in love. This is the new self, right? And then with this, you work hard to build harmony with one another in Christ. So there is the true unity. My friends, we're, we're in a very desperate situation and we all need God's help. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for being who you are. Father, we are in a very difficult uh, situation now because of racism, violence, and disunity. Father, you are the only hope. So Father, please help us to lay aside our falsehood and put on the new self, speaking truth to one another to build unity in you. So please help us and guide us, Lord. In Jesus' holy name we prayed. Amen.